Well, operation's done, all finished. Uh, I was supposed to be, um, I could have gone yesterday if I wanted, but my head was in the shed from uh, General Anesthetic. I just, in cloud cuckoo land. But um, yeah, I'm finally going today. So uh, yeah, rock and roll, have a look at my cast. So three months, six weeks in a cast, and six weeks in a boot. Netflix, Amazon Prime, get ready to rock and roll. Well, I never thought I'd see this day. Look, oh, did I? I've, I've been pushed along <laughs> in my bloody <laughs> chair. <laughs> <laughs> my mum and dad have pushed me along the bloody beach down Panath. Sad, isn't it? Sad, isn't it? Wee. Wee. <laughs> oh, what fun we are having with my cast. Oh, I've actually got a different one on. You probably saw from the picture where I had a red one on, which was a hard cast. And it was doing my head in. Especially when he got itch, my brain was going. I had to go to the hospital. I had a bit of a bit of a panic attack. I had to have it taken off because it was really doing my head in. So I got a new one on now. I cut this off last night. Actually, I had a little bit of a moment, but at least with this one from there up, that skin under there is only cast on the side and back. And I got myself a little ruler, which I've been told, don't poke it. Whatever you do. Not gonna happen. If you're on itch, you're on itch. So I'm so glad I had that cast taken off. Like I said, I was plaster claustrophobic. It was driving me mental. But now we gotta step up. We've got the air cast boot. I'll try and show you what my foot looks like. So you can see there, that's the that's the two screws which have gone in it. So, right, cast is gone. Let's try the boot. Oh, oh this is gonna be so nice. This is gonna be so much better. Especially now if I go on it, at least I'll be able to take it off and get at the itch. I'm stepping up in the world, literally. All right, well, I still need the crutches anyway. Definitely still need the crutches. But I'm moving up. I'm moving in the right direction. Let's try it out. That feels so much better already. Because before I was having to walk and I was like kind of hopping, kind of doing this movement. That's what I was doing before. But at least now I can put my foot down. I can walk normalish. So, well, this is the first time I put a boot on. I got six weeks to wear the boot, and uh, we'll see what it's like in six weeks. Wish me luck. Before I go, here's my Zimmer frame. I was pottering around the house in this for a while, kind of walking like this. So, if I had a sandwich or a cup of tea or something. Oh, I'd have to use this thing. But then by the time I actually got to where I was going, cup of tea especially, I'd spilt most of it. So I've had my boot on now for three weeks. I still need the crutches, but I'm starting to walk a little bit faster. And I can put weight down on it more now as well, which has been a major bonus. As I haven't been able to put weight on my foot for quite some time. So I'm moving on up. So we'll see what happens now in another three weeks. So I just got back from um, week 13, seeing the physio, doing a couple of exercises, doing a couple of walking things, bending my ankle back and forth, trying to get some idea of how well I'm actually repairing. And she's quite happy, it's not too bad, but I must admit I'm not fixed yet. And I don't think I'm gonna be fixed for a while. So week 12, I went to go to see the surgeon at the Landock Hospital to do another x-ray of my ankle and just to see how things are actually getting on. 
So I'll put a picture up on the screen where he allowed me to take a screenshot of the operation of the screw sticking in. So I'll put that up now on the right hand side. I'll move back a little bit. So <coughs> that's the picture there. Right, I'll scroll up to the top where there's a picture of a bit of a line. I'll try to show it on the screen where there's a bit of a line going across my ankle, which was where the cartilage had actually worn away. So I'll move the picture down now to the bottom. So you should be able to see now that line that's actually been filled back up with bone. So it is actually starting to cure itself now, which is great news to know. And he did even say as well, one point, I'm not quite sure about it though, that we can actually take the screws out. Really not sure about that. As long as they don't rest and they're not giving me any grief, then I might just say, no, I'll leave them in. But then sometimes I do, it does get a bit tender on there. I do get a little bit of a shooting pain, but it's over and done with in seconds. But as far as the surgeon says, he's quite happy with it. I'm 12, like I said, I was 12 weeks into it at that point. But I think it's going to take, I reckon I got another six months before I'm actually walking with a purpose. I'll try to show you now how I'm walking at the moment. So regarding shoes, I've always had a trainer like this, something with a bit of ankle support, something to give me support. But he did recommend, which I did try, and I have bought already, I bought these from Skechers. They recommended me to actually buy these, because you might be able to see they're a bit curved. I think it's like rock and roll effect, they call it or something, which actually prepares my foot for the next movement. It's a shame it doesn't have ankle support though, like my vans, my funky vans. But you can't win them all. But I'll show you the difference now, how I was walking with the old shoes and how I am now walking with these shoes. Total difference, total difference. So this is how I was walking with the Vans, which are total flat sole. I was kind of doing a da dump, da dump. I didn't have that extra roll ready. So I'll show you what it was like with the Vans. So this is the type of movement I've been used to. I haven't been able to get a flow. It's just been more to dump. That's about pretty much all I can manage with a flat shoe. So we try out these shoes now, which has got that nice curved bit to it. And you'll tell you what, you'll see a hell of a difference. This is going to be the difference now for the curved shoe. I can't actually do that motion because the curve of the sole is preparing my next movement. I might not be walking super fast, but at the moment it's just all about muscle memory. And this is definitely gonna help the muscle memory. So that's the difference between a flat shoe and a curved shoe. It's given me the confidence to actually walk properly again, which is half the battle. So I've just been to see the physio today for, this is actually week 13. I saw the surgeon last week. So the physio's given me some exercises to do. I've got to go back in another three weeks time to see if I'm progressing a little bit more. But I am feeling more confident, which is the main thing. I am feeling more confident. I'm feeling like I'm on, I am actually on the road to recovery. So anyone in the same boot, literally, get rid of the boot, get something curvy, because it will help. Right, well, I'll end this video now anyway, because I reckon another six months and I'll be walking properly, but I don't want to wait another six months just to put this video out. So if anyone's had their ankle fused and this has given them a little bit of knowledge, then happy days, more than welcome to show my experience with you and um, get well soon. Oh, 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 oh,